Hello everybody and welcome back to some Grounded. Um, I, uh, I've done a little bit of repairs on our base since our attack last, uh, last episode. Um, I at least got all of our structures that had taken damage but weren't destroyed all fixed up. Um, I still need to put up a bit of our grass wall, but I will take care of that in another time. Because today, we are gonna head back over to the sandbox over there and uh, dive into the Black Ant Lab. Um, but before we do that, uh, we're a little bit low on smoothies, and uh, my hope today is to really make it all the way through the Black Ant Lab, and at the very end of that awaits a boss fight. Um, so we're gonna need some better ability to heal, and uh, we've got all the ingredients for the smoothie. Um, I, I, I'm just thinking the beefy fuzz on the rocks again. Um, we've got both types of rocks that we need in there. We've got mite fuzz, uh, but we are very low. Which chest is it in? Um, are we? I, I think we're completely out, in fact, of uh, mussel sprouts. So I think I'm going to make a quick run over to the pond. Uh, pick up some mussel sprouts, and we can uh, then return here, make our smoothies, and head out on our adventure. Um, I think I will take uh, one of each of our... Uh, oh, I think I missed one. Uh, our items to be researched. Um, oh my goodness, I keep hitting all the wrong keys. Uh... One of each of all of our different items that we have yet to research, um, with us, and that way I can stop off at a, ah, uh, there it is, um, the various research stations, um, to and from the water, um, uh, the pond lab, and, uh, we can get all of this stuff analyzed. Um, so, I think that might be it. But yeah, we've got, like, five different things here that we need to analyze, and, uh, it would take us a while to get that done, just making runs up and down the picnic table. So let me get this all resorted. There we go. Um... So yeah, we've got uh, basically our two mosquito parts, the bee stinger, our new salts, and uh, we need to analyze the crusty roly-poly legs. So, um, with that being said, uh, let's go head over to the pond, and if I stop at a, um, uh, one of the little research stations, I will be sure to stop and let you know what we have researched. Alrighty. Run on out of here, and there should be... Yep, there's the resource analyzer. Uh, let's start with our bug parts. I don't think we'll learn anything. Oh, okay, a head mount. Oh, I guess we actually learned the heal Basa from that. Just kind of like a quick splashy heal kind of thing. What about the bee stinger? Stuffed bee, all right. So mostly decorative. Mostly decorative items from all that. And that runs us out of charge. Let's grab our muscle sprouts real quick. do. Alright, let's see here. 
analyze this. Should be able to make the new leggings. And then what about salt? Salt arrows, okay. Very good. And I think we actually, now that I'm remembering, we have a chip for Burgle, so this works out nicely. You are welcome. You are welcome, Mr. Burgle. Uh, what did that get us? Uh, ooh, we did get the milk molar scanner. Oh, but I really wanted the peblet turrets. Oh, or the mint mace. Oh, all of that's difficult. Oh, no. We're gonna get the milk molar scanner, though. I think I have to. Oh, and there's one nearby. See, like, that's that's the kind of helpful information that we need. Oh, I think it's one that's under... The oak tree. But it is guarded by nasty things. That... Uh, we will not be dealing with today, but we should deal with soon. Unless they've all left for the night. A firefly! I feel like I should make a wish or something. All right, I think I have bombs on me. This might aggro the firefly. <laughs> He says I light up a room. I'm gonna grab that. Yep, there it is. Okay. Oh no. Wait, there's still a molar. Alright, we're gonna sleep through the night real quick. I was able to grab a bone. And I actually picked up our red ant armor. I'm going to run through the red ant hill real quick on my way back home. See if I can grab any more ant eggs to make a couple more bombs. And then we will drop off the little bit of gear that I grabbed. And uh, then head out for the new black ant hill. Well, I was able to get us nine more bombs. I did have to, uh, <laughs> as you can Soldier see, spotted. take out a few ants. But, um, you know, the the damage is done. Um, I'll, I'll take that, sir. Uh, no need to worry about that cleanup. Um, but yeah, that was uh, it's, it's well worth it. Um, I was able to get my kill Soldier Ants quest done for Burgle as well, so... Uh, that is all good. Um, so now we just need to head back, make some smoothies, uh, finish sorting out our gear, put some of the other stuff that I'm logging back away, and head on over to the sandbox. Alright, well I got most of our stuff put away. So, let's go ahead and knock out what we need here, which primarily is meaty, or beefy, fuzz on the rocks. Um, so... Hello. 
There we go. Alright, that's as many as I can make. Um, and the other thing is I might want just a couple more bandages. Um, let's see, we can drop that off. And uh, let's make five more bandages just to finish off that stack. And otherwise, I think we're looking like we're in pretty good shape. Uh, the one other thing that we might try to repair is our shield. Um, I did repair our axe because it was getting pretty low. The only other thing might be the hammer. Uh, but the hammer we might just be able to upgrade. Honestly. So, let's just upgrade that. And... We might want to upgrade our antlion stuff just a bit. Um, I know I've normally waited until things are a little bit broken. Um... But I think it might be worth going ahead and doing now. Um, okay, so if I select that, let's upgrade at least like level three and then our gear let's get to at least level two Just go all the way. Maybe we just go all the way with it. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade our crossbow just a bit more. You know what, we're just gonna keep going on it to make it really beefy because we're using the crossbow a lot. Uh, out. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't have the grass up. I'm like, how did an ant get in here? Um, okay, so that is all of our gear leveled up pretty well. Let's reassign this to the hot pouch. So we've got a sword, a crossbow, an axe, a hammer, a shovel, a shield. Uh, we've got smoothies. We've got bandages. We've got bombs. I don't need extra brittle plating um, That can go in here. I think the last thing that we need is maybe a torch or two um, I think one should do it I don't want to overcrowd the inventory, and I'm nervous that we're already doing that. Uh, and I think we already have our canteen, we do. Uh, I don't think we should have to worry about bringing food with us as long as we go in full, because I believe, like many of the other labs, we should be able to find some food in them. Um, so I think that we'll just uh, we'll eat these aphids before we go. Um... And I was going to say it's getting late in the evening, so maybe we go in the morning, but since we're going to go in through the sandbox, um, evening is better for us. So I think Don't even need to boil that it. we just head out now. All right. Hey there, folks. Uh, so, my recording goofed up, and uh, I think, luckily, my backup save isn't too far off, 
Black uh, Ant working away here. Hello there, buddy. Basically, you missed my journey over here to the Black Ant Hill, and uh, it, I, I took the uh, nice kind of shortcut path along the edge of the sandbox and jumped over here. And uh, fortunately, the backup that I had uh, basically was barely past me uh, entering the Ant Hill. Uh, and I came basically running down here and harvested just a little bit of brittle marble. I believe that's all that you missed. Um, and uh, so I will be experiencing some of this now for the uh, the second time with you all. So I do apologize for that. Um, but such is the, uh, the pain sometimes of... Uh, YouTube life, but, uh, yeah, but we will, we will carry on here, gathering some more materials and making our way deeper into the Black Ant Hill and making our way toward the Black Ant Lab. Uh, so for now we're gonna explore this little side path, um, which we can't go any further for now, but there is a scabby down there. Going up here. There does seem to be a lot of marble in particular in Um We'll go this side path first. And Start using some of these bombs. A little too close. Oh well. And there's that scabby. And we'll go ahead and hit this other side path real quick as well. Better than starving. May as well munch on a mushroom. Ah, so here's the quartz site to kind of balance out all that marble. With a little more marble, it's just loose. Wait, is that more? No. Some of these little dirt clumps keep tricking me into thinking that they're some kind of rock. All right, Deep here is the lab. The of the endless caverns, we found a most peculiar abandoned ruin. Apologize for the darkness, but my sword is a two-handed weapon. Oh, just as I unblock. There we go. One soldier ant down. Alright. Let's see what else we have going on in here. Uh, pull the torch Helion, back out. Of the sun. Hello, buddy. Oh, you want to come down and play? Luckily, the regular ants don't seem to really care about me. Um, <laughs> some more quartzite. Actually, don't know if I saw that one on my previous run-in. I don't think we're going to worry about this tunnel just yet. Oh, that light's so bright. And there's more quartzite here. Our hammer does work now that we upgraded it. Um, okay. That's, that's locked. Let's go ahead and have some more explosions. There we go. I actually stood at an appropriate distance this time. Um, I think there's anything over here, although it sounds like there is. Okay. Uh, we'll go this side 
first. <laughs> That's right, I can see you through there. Okay, maybe not my best idea to aggro him before I can get to him, but that was kind of funny. There we go. All right. So, not too much in here. Virgil, I'd like to summarize the results of today's mixer trials. Ready to take your Trials 1 and 2 were aborted due to mechanical failure. Now, trial 3. Trial 3 was interesting. Wait, Virgil, what is that? It looks like a gathering of ants. Well, I can see that, but what... <laughs> That would be like actually terrifying if you're just like doing an experiment, everything's fine, and then just getting swarmed. I mean, I guess that's not too different from like our little uh, payback event that we had to go through. Although that did end up in us dying, so it being terrifying, I guess, is appropriate. All right, think that should be. All the tasties out of here. Oh, did we get... Oh, no, they're just stuck on there. I was going to say, if we got those stuck in the roof again, I'm going to be upset. Let's go ahead and just top off our health. And see what all's in here. Okay, nothing on these shelves this time. Well, mixer development has been a bumpy, bumpy road. I've successfully been able to produce a raw science concentrate, but the energy wave output is too strong for the containment field generator. It would seem that using a mixer is a single-use affair for the time being. I'll need to find a way to ramp up unit production for the yields necessary to produce my ra or to pursue my raisinification therapy experiments. To make matters worse, my laboratory has continued to be the focus of black ants. I suspect it has to do with the cacophony of these blasted machines at max power, or maybe something is luring them here. Anyway, as usual, the odds are stacked against me. W. Um, I think we'll leave those granola bars just in case we need them again. Can't get through there yet. Um, I can replace that bandage. We don't need that. We can use that to dismiss the little searchy thing on our scabby for new labs. Uh, new tape. Burgle has been behaving strangely. I have noted in some of our interactions that he has been taking liberties with my instructions besides his usual displays of incompetence. But just the other day, I heard him humming a tune about grilling. He thought I could not hear him, but I did. But I did? And I have told him again and again to eliminate that unnecessary function from his programming, and yet still I know he harbors secret thoughts of grilling. Oh. I was certainly right to isolate him from the experiments. One can only imagine how his malformed programming could be contaminating my research. I'll need to review my security protocols to make sure no further contamination occurs. The security cameras are now installed across the yard, and I've assigned Burgle to overseeing Tasty and Arker operations. A little insurance that my progress on raw science enrichment doesn't fall into the wrong hands. 
Neither ominent, nor insect, nor robot will have access to my research now. Dang. Man, poor, poor Burgle just gets roasted just because he like, just because the robot made to be a burger flipper likes burgers. So the, uh, both the meal we just found and the smoothies we just found are some good stuff. Um. Okay, so we made it through that path. What was, uh, oh, right, right, right. We, uh, we unlocked a door over here that we have not gone through. That should be next. All right, so I think this is about where I realized that my recording had messed up. So I think from here on out, I'm holding raw science in my hands. What does it even mean? We are in new territory for me as well. The pebbles. Um. Well. Yes, down we go. Here. Ooh, is that, that like gold raw science? I want it. <laughs> Head off. Oh, what's in here? A new bomb, more omelets. Ooh, a lot of quartzite. Oh, a whole resource shelf. Nice. Uh, acorn bits. Mint bits. Might just take those. I'll still leave granola bars. We can oh. Worse than my mom's munch on that spots. a bit. Uh, let's set our respawn point. And I guess we keep going. Uh, you know what? Before it starts slowing down our health or our stamina regen. Don't even need to boil it. Take a sip of water. Hello. Robots. We are getting lots of raw science. That's yeah. good. It's become all too clear, foggy as I may be of late, that some upkeep is in dire need. Notes, blueprints, recordings, all foolishly out in the open. I never want to play tug of war with a soldier ant over important research ever again. I suspect even bigger forces are at work than just an upset colony. It's as though someone in the shadows is watching my every move. If Ominent has somehow caught wind of the devastating capabilities of Mixer technology, well, it's high time for real security around here. I'm suspending activity on the project while I beef this lab up a smidge. Plans are drawn for a repurposing of an old Roby's idea, the Grumbling Middle Management Unit. Their heavy-handed programming leaves a room for improvement in the Attitude Department. And heaven forbid Burgle will ever have to interact with it. I can't begin to imagine the two of them blathering back and forth, let alone deal with any whimpering about installing leadership above him. He seems like the jealous type. He, Turing save me. Anyway, to work! W. What else we get? More omelette, more resources. Very good. Uh, all right, let's get our B level clearance here. Um, anything else other than just raw science? That looks like a soldier ant waiting for us. So I'm gonna get out the big guns here. Yeah, come into the light. Yeah. 
All right, we're just, we're just gonna eat the damage. There we go. There we go. All right, is there anything else yeah, in no. this room though? This is a rather large space, so I can't imagine it's empty. Basically, a bunch of quartzite. Okay. Not gonna worry about that tunnel for now. I think we just keep following the light. Same there. We'll take more of these shards. See, at first I thought I was getting like all marble, but now it's flipped the other way where it feels mostly quartzite. Okay, and then we're back in here, but the B door is unlocked. Very good. Oh, that one light is so bright. Oh, I meant to do that. There we go. Turn the torch off. Anything fun in here? Just some computer terminals. Okay, that's explosive. That hurt me? No, I was already a little hurt, but dang. Okay. Raw science. A scientific breakthrough. More explosives. Okay, we're gonna back well up for this one. There we go. Whoa. Those look fun. Wait, that's a mushroom? Like... Yeah. Like a normal mushroom chunk? Excuse me. Uh, I don't think I want to carry mushroom chunks with me. Is this just a mush room? If you catch my drift? Wait, wait, we've got a milk molar. Is it gonna be buried in clay again? Uh, okay. It's not there. The hiding up high. Aha! Gotcha. Interesting. Is that like the thing in this room? This room is very interesting for that to be the main purpose. I guess there's also just like a ton of the glow mushrooms if you're into that. So there's still more milk molar around. I'm not scared. I might be. It's dark. Oh my. One down.
we go. Okay. Let's get that healing going. And man, it's like all the megas down here. Okay, what else do we have? It's just a pebblet. Is there anything else up here? No. What's well, back here? Nothing. Ooh, there's some marble for me, though. Hi. All right. A scientific breakthrough. Okay, everybody, it is time. We, um, we have to break in first, but it is time for the boss fight. Um, so, one piece of advice that I do have for anybody who might, um, might be doing this and doesn't feel very confident about it and doesn't mind kind of cheesing their save a little bit is to make a save at this point and that way if you die a lot you're not like you don't come back and have depleted all of your heals and be degrading your armor a lot that's how i did do this the first time because i didn't come down prepared for a boss fight this time i did so i'm not gonna worry about it um but just a little piece of advice all right we're gonna go ahead and eat Mm. A little bit of everything, um, just so that we are about as prepared as we can be, and, uh, and then it's time. So I don't know what this guy's weakness is. I'm guessing it's probably actually bashing. Although that did a lot. Okay, we got another set of little dudes. This all right. Phase two is fun. got this. We've almost got this. Yes! Yeah. 
Yes! There we go! That did not go poorly at all! Oh! This... This sword is good. I am so glad that we upgraded it too. <laughs> Management not found, that's right. Oh my gosh. So it is also important to know, I do think that that fight scales with the number of players. Because um, I think that normally there's a fourth wave of um, other bots that come down. I could be totally mistaken on that, but uh, let's see what the whiteboard has to say. Um, wait, are there two different sizes of mixer? Medium and large? At a 45 degree angle for 3D flow and refinement. So that weird shapes become a grid that become weird sludge that can have a bottom opening bottle like he likes in his other idea from a while back is that it can become a semi solid that is edible but all the bugs co go for it but when it goes into overdrive it's bad and loud <laughs> all right so that's our mixer information and i guess these are the prototypes so these are the things that we've been finding around the yard. All right, any more intel in here? Give me the lore. Oh, yeah. Virgil, those blasted mixer devices are continuing to drive every creature in the area absolutely bonkers. We'll figure out concentrate collection later, but these must be moved far from here. I've drawn a rough map of potential locations up on the board. Each spot marked should be suitable for defense in the event that the local creatures are just as huffy over our friends bearing down on the blast doors. W. Gotcha, so Burgle moved them to where they are now based on Wendell's instructions. I don't see that board. Oh, here it is. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's large mixers up in the upper part of the yard that was newest. Um, and then these are some of the ones that we've seen. So we, we found that one. I think we found that one. And I think we saw this one. And we maybe saw this one from a distance? And I don't think we've found that one yet. But then there's three more up top that are a different type of mixer. Gotcha. Um, why can't I unlock this? Something else I need to do? Try this one. Yeah, I can do that one. Super chip! Hi, spy! Yeah, he doesn't look good. The production of raw science concentrate has been, for better or worse, spread across the yard. Given the unseen hands that move against me, it seems that no precaution is too much. No suggestion from my paranoid psyche too preposterous. 
What a pathetic state of affairs. Overrun by an enraged ant colony, and here I stand, naked, naked, to the unblinking eyes spying upon my every move. Layers of abandonment and failure, like a frumpy, naked failure onion. <laughs> but who sheds a tear for us, Burgle? Is it the onlookers in the shadows? Is it whomever stumbles upon our toilings down here in the muck? This should please you all. Dr. Wendell Tully, humbled again. Well, enjoy your laughs, cruel winds of fate. But this onion has one more stink left to make. And sorry, old friend, but I'm going it alone. Deleting data stores and running lab lockdown procedures. Wendell, out. Hmm. I'm really confused as to how I get into that other room. I thought that maybe there would be like another switch that I could hit. Okay, I can hit that. And take all of that. Why can't... Why can't I open that other door? We're gonna go try one more time. Okay, I don't think I'm missing any big, obvious switches. I couldn't press that computer screen. How about in here? Like, that is the big, obvious switch. Why can't I get in? What's, what is even in there? It's just a chest. What the heck? What am I missing? Yeah, I can't press that. It's very odd. Oh well. We can come back to that later if, um... If I figure it out and if that ends up being... Some kind of important? I don't know. It's very interesting. But for now... Let's get ourselves out of here. Alright, so that's nice to have one new, uh... Entrance down into the lab. So now there's even kind of three ways into the, um... Uh, Black Ant Hill. All right, well, we made it back home. Let's uh, drop off some materials here real quick. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We can keep those smoothies on us, honestly. Uh, and we've got food. Uh, I don't think we'll need the bombs in the too near of future. So we can leave those. Um, I think that should be pretty good. Uh, so we're gonna go do one more thing. Um, I guess kind of two more things before we wrap up for the day. Uh, you may remember there's actually been several things that we 
have kind of come across uh, throughout our playthrough that have needed the assistant manager key card. Um, well, we now have that assistant manager key card. Uh, we're not going to go get through all of them today. Um, I think we're going to try to do most of that um, probably next time. Um, but there is one that I do want to take care of today. Uh, and then we will go drop off um, our chip to Burgle. Uh, so real quick, we are going to uh, run back into the sandbox um, and go find the uh, that little lab that we found right in the middle of the sandbox uh, that did require that assistant manager uh, key card. Um, and... Uh, if you remember correctly, the um, information we have from Burgle does say that there is uh, an addition uh, auxiliary. Uh, a, uh, the information that we have from Burgle says that there is a additional auxiliary chip uh, in that lab. So we are going to go snag that before we run uh, the black ant lab chip to Burgle so that we can just kind of make it a two for one journey um, and just kind of make the most of our time. All right, while we're up top here, we're gonna put our respawn point back up here instead of down yeah! in the lab. <laughs> And then I think this time we're just going to go straight on in. I am kind of curious. Take a look. Okay, they do just count as a standard antlion. I was really curious if those uh if that particular type of antlion counted as a different antlion. Uh, when you peeped it. Just since they, like, behave differently. Um. There we go. Alright, well. Looks like a popsicle. Here I get the are. feeling it's popsicle. not refreshing, though. Oh, the little... Ooh, that that thing. I got the science. All right, well, there's our sandbox chip. And here is our tape. I cannot bear to look upon myself any longer. I've become a monster. Inhuman, less than the insects that are my only companions now. I've become old well before my years. A shrunken husk of a man, a walking corpse like lurking shriek, doomed to the executioner's axe. Trudy was right all along, as she always is. And what remains? I'm a failure as a scientist, as a husband, and as a father. I have no choice but to remain here, living exiled in the backyard. I have diverted my remaining strength and will into finding a cure for this malady. This raisinification, if you will. It is my only hope now. All other research initiatives must be placed on hold, or it will be too late. It may already be too late. It is only fitting that I am so small. Tiny. Minuscule. Just like my legacy. Dang. He's going through stuff, man. Alright, so I do already know what this particular little puzzle means. Um. So if you don't want to just hear me give the answer, you should, like, skip ahead a minute. But basically, there's a shovel here in the sandbox that casts a shadow. And there's an X that marks the spot for a key for a chest near the sandcastle. At 3.30, you need to go dig where the X in the, the hole of the shadow from the shovel to get the key for the treasure chest. 
though. I feel like that's a cool little thing. Um, so we'll we'll do that another time because I do believe it is nighttime. Uh, but we we achieved our goal. We got our chip. Uh, so we're gonna head out and uh, make our way back to the oak tree. Give these to Burgle and um, see what he has to say. Good morning, Burgle. How can I help you today? I found the last Eureka, super chip. The last one you have found it. It is finally time that we can complete the embiggening cocktail recipe. Hand over the super chip and we can get you home. I, I heard you did. Processing. Of course, toenails. The <laughs> oh, no. tiny impractical spatulas at the end of human digits. Well, have fun collecting those. And the final ingredient is... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, no, no. This cannot be correct. The last ingredient of the cocktail is marked as missing. That's not good. I am not sure what to tell you. Dr. Wendell Tully purposefully wiped the last ingredient from my memory. My programming prohibits me from remembering the secret ingredient. Wendell never wanted it to fall into the wrong hands. He did not even trust me with it. The entire recipe is only in Wendell's noggin. And as I said, he has not been around for months. Sigh. <laughs> mm, processing. 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 Ch chicken nuggets! Wendell's scabby! His scabby has tracking functionality built in. We should now be able to find out where he is with this information. The extra memory you provided with the super chips is helping my processing. Sorry, I did not think to track Dr. Tully earlier. It's okay, bud. Allow me to connect to his scabby via my handy state-of-the-art radio modem to see what data I can pull from it. Yeah! Yeah! I am connected to Dr. Tully's scabby. I will now start the download. Location X5432, Y74356, Z19666. Error scabby prototype 0001A power loss at circuit R23. Analyzing. Error code 324. Subminiature axial lead resistor. Ominate model OC93412 for failure. Call 555-0126 for technical assistance. Thank you. Okay. A minor setback. I know that location. Cool. The scabby is at Dr. Tully's favorite chair by the shed, of course. You should be able to find him there. And take this replacement fuse to repair whatever problem he is having with his scabby. He should be able to help you out with the Ambigan cocktail and get you home in no time. Good luck. I believe in you. Cool. Ah, more chips. Thank you. Hand it over and let us see what I can remember. Hmm, much better. Check the ASL Terminal Society. Have a great day. All right. Interesting. Well, we're definitely having to head to the upper yard soon, so that's going to be fun. Uh, but let's see what all we've got available now. Oh my, we have 10,000 science. Uh, let's start with our molar upgrades here, though. Um, because we got a lot of megas. Um, so we could increase our consumables. That may not be a bad idea. Carry, like, more smoothies, more bandages. Um, because I still think arrows carrying like 50 at a time, which is two stacks, is pretty good. Because I, I would want more than 30 still, I think. Um, and uh, I'm pretty... Uh, I mean, bumping resource stack size up to 30 could also be nice. Um, but I still think consumables might be... Might be more more beneficial. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. And then maybe next time we bump arrows and start working on that. 
Alright, but for the science shop, we should have a lot now. Oh, yeah, we got all the smithing stuff. Performing diagnostic. Okay, so we could craft brittle. Um... All right, yeah, let's just start. Let's start at the top. Um, all right, so mighty globs and sturdy plating. Um, the glue masher. Uh, okay, so that's advanced repairing. Okay, and then flavored globs. All right. Anything else important here? Lures, I'm not too concerned with. That takes six salt, my goodness. Uh, the waft emitter. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm too concerned about any of that, so I actually do agree other than maybe the pollen turret um, that we want to start getting some of this stuff. So, I think getting a crafting recipe for brittle materials would be smart. I think starting the just simple what would Dr. Do? Um, advanced smithing, getting glue, and now then flavored globs. So we can go ahead and get all of that. Um, and we still have a good amount left over. Um, not bad. Uh, what's our optional? Uh, B shoulder pads we don't have, so I will accept. Cool. Well, thank you, Burgle, for all of that. I'm still really curious where this, uh, nearby milk molar is, because, like, I don't think it's here. It seems to be, like, this direction, off to the left. Oh, it's right there! I mean, do we dare? Next time. Next time we're killing wolf spiders. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, we'll just come and chill in our little now home away from home and uh, take it easy here for now. And then next time, I think the plan will be explore a couple of those other areas that were locked off with the assistant manager key. Um, I think we had actually two over here in the pond, uh, so this is actually convenient that we're over here. And, um, uh, we might try to fight some wolf spiders, we might try to go back over near home and, um, take on, uh, some early polies, uh, just, you know, fight some new bugs, and, uh, kind of try more or less to finish out the, um, a lot of stuff here in the lower yard before we take things up top, um... And I think that will be a, uh, a pretty good plan. Um, so, uh, you know, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me that, um, you know, to have people interested here in this series. Uh, it's been it's been fun making the videos for you all, and it's been fun seeing you guys uh, enjoying the series. So, um, Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for leaving comments and everything. It really does make my day to, uh, to see all the support. So, um, just a big thank you for that. 
Um, definitely, if you guys want to make sure you can catch the next episode of the series, make sure that you are subscribed with notifications on. And uh, I will see you back here very soon with some more Grounded.